Today we're going to wrap up section 5.1 by talking about tautologies, contradictions, and equiv equivalent logical statements. Um, so in the last section we talked about different logical connectives like ands, ors, negations, and implications, and how we can build them up to make more kind of meaningful statements or statements that are a little bit more interesting to us mathematically. Well, using those same those basic rules and those basic truth tables, um, we can build up truth tables for more complicated statements, kind of like how we did for a biconditional and if and only if statement. So, for example, consider the statement for arbitrary statements P and Q, P and not Q, or Q or not P. Right? That's how we would read this statement here symbolically. This is saying P and not Q, or Q or not P. Okay. Right, well we can figure out the truth value of this entire statement based on the various truth values of the base statements P and Q. Right, remember, P and Q, each one of these statements is true or false, which means there's four different combinations of truth values for those base statements. Either they're both true, or one is true and one is false, or the reverse of that, the first is false and the second is true, or they're both false. Okay, so we can build up to this statement just sort of working from the inside out. I know I'm going to need the truth values of not P and not Q, so I'm going to fill out the column for not P first. So not P, the negation of P, is a statement which has the opposite truth value of P. So my P column has truth values true, true, false, false. So the negation of P would have truth values false, false, true, true. So I just look at the P column and I swap T's to F's and vice versa. Similarly, for the negation of Q, I'm going to look under the Q column and just take the opposite truth value. So the Q column was true, false, true, false. The negation of that would be false, true, false, true. Okay, so uh, I'm getting there. Now I'm going to need a column for P and not Q. Okay, remember, I'm using this tilde the same way that, that this little minus with a tail is being used. They both mean negation, and I use them interchangeably. So P and not Q, this is a conjunction. We're joining two statements together. It's an and statement. And an and statement is true only when the two base statements, in this case P and then not Q, are both true. So I'm going to look at the P column, look at the not Q column. I mean, I'm looking at these two columns here. This is only going to be true as long as they're both true. All right, in the first row, are they both true? No, because the negation of Q is false. So the and statement would be false. In the second row, are they both true? Yes, so the and statement is true. In the third case, they're both false, so the and statement is false. And then the last case, are they both true? No, P is false, so the and statement is false. All right, so this is my column for P and the negation of Q. That's this first part here. All right, then I'm going to do another column for Q or not P. This is an or statement. So I'm going to need to look at the Q column and the not P column. That's these two right here. And remember, for an OR statement to be true, we just need at least one of the two base statements to be true. In other words, an OR statement is only false when both parts of it are false. All right, so let's go through here. In the first row, we have a true and a false. So we have at least one true, so the OR statement is true. In the second case, uh, they're both false here. Okay, so if they're both false, then the OR statement itself would be false. In the third case, they're both true. And remember, an OR is an inclusive OR, so as long as at least one is true, the whole OR statement is true. And in the last case, at least one is true because not P is true. So the OR statement is true. All right, good. So that's giving me what's on the other side of this OR here. And now finally, I can do my last column where I take the P and not Q column, the Q OR not P column, and I connect them with an OR statement. So my last column is going to be a column for the entire larger statement. Right, this entire statement here. So now I need to look at the P and not Q column, that's here, and the Q OR not P column here, and I need to connect them with an OR 
which means as long as at least one part is true, the whole statement is true. Okay, is at least one statement true here? Yes, the second one is true. So the or statement is true. Is at least one true here? Yep, the first is true, so the whole thing's true. Here we have the second statement is true, so the or statement is true, and same thing in the last case. Okay, so what do you notice? Well, in this last column here, for the statement P and not Q, or Q or not P, it's always true. It doesn't matter whether, whether P and Q itself are true or false. For any combination of these, the entire statement is going to be true. Right? And remember, these P's and Q's are arbitrary. You can fill in any statement you want here. You could say something like, let P represent the statement, I don't know, let P be the statement, 2 is odd. And let Q be the statement, pi is a whole number. Right? These are both false. But according to our truth table, it doesn't matter that they're both false. The statement P and not Q or Q or not P is going to be a true statement, right? So this P or not Q, or P and not Q or Q or not P using these statements would be 2 is odd and Q is not a whole number or Q or pi is a whole number or 2 is not odd. All right, so when we fill all that in, the resulting statement is going to be true because it's always true no matter the truth values of the base statements. We have a special word for that, for a statement which is true no matter what. We call that a tautology. Right, so a tautology is a statement that's always true for all paths, possible truth value combinations of its base statements. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples. For example, the statement P or the negation of P. I can prove this pretty quickly using a truth table because my base statement is just P. It only has two truth values. So the negation of P would be false true. And when we connect these with an OR, remember an OR statement is true as long as at least one of its bases is true. So in the first case, yep, the first part's true. And in the second case, the second statement's true. And so this P OR not P is always true regardless of the truth value of P. Right? If you can look at that last column for that statement and you get all T's, that's how you know it's a tautology. They both start with T, right? It's a useful thing to remember. If we wanted to write this statement in English, you could say something like, I don't know, uh, I like Taco Bell, or I don't like Taco Bell. One of those things is true, right? It has to be true that one of those two things are true, so this statement is true, whether it's me or it's you or whoever says it. This statement is always going to be true no matter who says it. All right, as another example of a tautology, the statement P implies Q or P. Let's prove that this is a tautology or not. So we have two base statements here, P and Q. Their combinations are true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Okay. Uh, and then... Let's see, if we wanted to build up to this P implies Q or P, we need to first have a column for the stuff inside the parentheses. So we need to add a Q or P column. An OR statement is true as long as at least one part is true. So this OR statement would be true, 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 and just false here in the last case. True, true, false. It's only false when both parts are false. And now finally, let's write the statement P implies Q or P. All right, remember, to tell the truth value of an implication, an implication is usually true. The only time it's false is when the hypothesis, the part before the arrow, is true, and the conclusion, the stuff after the arrow, is false. So if you have a T here and an F here, then the whole thing is going to be false. Otherwise, it's true. So let's look at this is your hypothesis column here. P is your hypothesis. And Q or P is your conclusion. So we can pretty much ignore this middle column for now. We're just looking at these two columns. All right, in the first case, they're both true, so the implication is true. Second case, again, they're both true, so the implication is true. In the third case, your hypothesis is false. And remember, if the hypothesis of an implication is false, 
the entire thing is vacuously true. It doesn't really matter what the truth value is over here because anytime the hypothesis is false, the entire implication is automatically true. And same thing here, it doesn't really matter what the conclusion is, if the hypothesis is false, the whole implication is true. Which means this, this arbitrary statement P implies Q or P is gonna always be true no matter what. Right, if P is true, then Q or P is true. Well, that makes sense, right? If P was true, then Q or P would have to be true because P would be true. So the or statement would be true, right? So this is another example of a tautology. It's just a statement which is always true no matter what the truth values of the basis. All right. Now, it makes sense then that we have a analogous idea for a statement which is always false, right? If you have a statement that's always false no matter what you plug in or no matter what the truth value is of your base statements, then we call such a statement a contradiction. So as an example, P and not P is a contradiction, right? P could be true or false, which would make not P false true. This and statement is always false, right? Because in the first case, they're not both true, so the and statement's false. And in the second case, P is false, so the and statement is false. And this makes sense, right? If, if we looked at an actual example here, um, the ball is red, that's your P, and the negation of that, the ball is not red. Right, there's no way that this statement could be true. The ball's either red or it's not, but it can't both be true. The and statement's not there. Right, you can't, you can't have a statement and its negation both be true at the same time. So this is a contradiction. P and not P is a contradiction. Um, for a more complicated example, we could build up the truth table for P implies not Q and P and Q. All right, so we've got P, we've got Q. We'll need a column for not Q. Let's work our way up here. So we got true, true, false, false. True, false, true, false. The negation of Q means we look at the Q column and flip all the T's to F's and vice versa. So this is gonna look like false, true, false, true. Uh, then let's do P implies not Q. Okay, so we have a hypothesis P and a conclusion of not Q. An implication is only false if it has a true hypothesis and a false conclusion. So here in the first case, we have a true hypothesis and a false conclusion. That's gonna make your implication false. But otherwise, it's true. So if they're both true, it's true. And anytime the hypothesis is false, which is the last two rows, the entire implication is vacuously true. Okay, so P implies not Q's column is going to look like false, true, true, true. All right, we're going to need a column for P and Q as well. An and statement is only true when both parts of it are true. So go back to the P column and the Q column. They're both true in the first case but that's the only case every other time you have at least one false. So the entire thing is false. And now finally, we can build up our column for this last, for this whole statement. P implies not Q and P and Q. All right, it's an and statement. It's connected by an and, which means if we look at the two parts, P implies not Q and then P and Q, they would need to both be true for the conjunction to be true. Well, they're not both true in the first case, they're not both true in the second case, they're not both true in the third or the fourth, which means this is gonna be false, 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 false. All right, if you see all false in a column, that means that your statement is a contradiction. Okay, so always true means tautology, always false means a contradiction.